Hello everyone, my name is Rob Callahan and I'm the Director of Technical Services here at Connect Tech. In today's session, we're going to go into a bit more detail regarding the most popular vision and sensor technologies and discuss the steps and best practices for integrating vision technology into NVIDIA Jetson-based Edge applications. Before we get started, I wanted to briefly introduce NVIDIA's lineup of production-grade Jetson modules. Jetson modules are software-defined and take advantage of the Jetpack software stack. Each module comes with a GPU, CPU, memory, I.O., and sensor interfaces to make designing Edge AI systems easier. The Jetson family leverages the same GPU architecture used to train AI to perform inference in a small, power-efficient platform. This platform uses the same software across all modules. This family includes modules that vary in performance. This allows modules that can be utilized in different applications and scenarios, each offering differences in performance and power while using the same software stack across all of them. From the lowest power NVIDIA Jetson Nano, providing half a teraflop performance at 5 watts, to the high-end Jetson AGX Xavier, providing up to 11 teraflops performance at 30 watts. The NVIDIA Jetson Nano, TX2NX, and Xavier NX modules are smaller than a credit card and are pin compatible, allowing for great flexibility as your performance needs and application requirements escalate. As you can see, the Jetson AGX Xavier delivers the highest performance. At just 30 watts maximum power consumption, it's fully capable of deployment into fully autonomous machines and edge vision platforms. For those new to the platform or those working to determine which module will best suit their requirements, customers typically will get started with a developer kit. These developer kits cannot be field deployed and the transition from development to production can often bring on a new set of challenges for customers. The developer kit is meant for lab development and comes equipped with a reference carrier board and minimal connectivity. The production module is simply the AI chip without any of the peripheral technology designed for production use. Customers need to either develop or select a carrier board or system to suit their application's I.O. requirements. In addition to not recommending the development kit for deployment, NVIDIA also does not guarantee component availability, support, or warranty that would be associated with the production level hardware. The switch from external media to onboard storage also increases reliability. Given the real-time, mission-critical applications often deployed on the platform, the need for more trusted hardware becomes clear. It is this transition to production-grade hardware where some of the integration challenges we're discussing today are introduced. While each Edge application will take in and process a variety of different sensor inputs, the integration of image sensors and vision technology is absolutely critical to the successful development of most Jetson-based solutions. Whether they come directly to our Jetson support team or are posted on the NVIDIA developer forum, we see questions on a daily basis from Jetson customers experiencing challenges integrating sensors into their application. Depending on the chosen vision interface, some mechanical integration challenges can be introduced as well. NVIDIA has a wide ecosystem of vision-based partners. These partners are pre-qualified to have sensors compatible with Jetson software. While this list is always growing, Connectech has identified and worked with many of the major manufacturers that NVIDIA lists in their camera sensor partner ecosystem. When customers set up to integrate vision sensors to their application, there are a number of interfaces to choose from. The ones we'll be focusing on today are Gigabit Ethernet or Gigi Vision, USB, MIPI CSI, FPD Link 3, and GMSL. We've broken these options up by level of complexity for integration, and we'll spend some time discussing each of these interfaces. Before we get started talking about the various camera interfaces, let's detail from a high level the video capture and processing pipeline. This pipeline runs from the sensors ingesting MIPI, USB, Gigabit Ethernet, and PCI Express vision data to the decode level with ISP H265264 to the GPU compute, running the CUDA, CNN, DNN models. From there, they run to encoding, OpenGL, H265264, and then to the output, 
whether it be display, storage, network, or other interface. From the video ingest side, every video stream ingested needs to eventually make its way to processing. And one of the only protocols with direct access to the ISP tuning and processing on the Jetson platform is MIPI CSI2. So if you were to choose higher level interfaces such as USB or gigabit ethernet vision to capture and ingest image data, pre-processing and transactions to and from memory are likely required. It's in this process and in the involvement of the underlying protocol that additional latency can occur. If you integrate a MIPI, GMSL, or FPD link camera, they allow for direct raw image processing and tuning via the ISP. We're now going to discuss the vision interfaces that allow for the simplest level of integration, GIG-E and USB. Both of these interfaces rely on the existing protocol standard and interfaces to ingest the image data. These interfaces exist at an application level. This means you're likely not dealing with low-level hardware configuration or kernel modification, as with other camera interfaces. So as long as your carrier board has a USB or Ethernet connector, the application level will accept the data for what it is. So looking at advantages and trade-offs with this approach, the advantages by leveraging the existing infrastructure and protocols, the application is able to ingest this data with little low-level modification. In other words, it just works. No additional development is required to configure and allow compatibility. Additionally, with Gigabit Ethernet in particular, the standard allows for longer cable lengths than other methods. Looking at the trade-offs, in both cases, the protocol introduces potential latency. In addition, when compared to MIPI sensors utilizing the same image sensor, both USB and GIGI Vision will come at a higher cost. If this latency and protocol overhead are manageable within your application, USB or GIGI cameras are a great choice for Jetson Edge deployments. Next, we're going to talk about the other Vision interface options, MIPI, GMSL, and FPD Link. Outside of USB, and Gigabit Ethernet, these are the other main video ingests that Jetson accepts, but it's also where integration work is required. When looking at the advantages and trade-offs with designing in and working with MIPI sensors, advantages are high-speed, real-time processing of raw image data, ISP processing capability, high resolution and frame rate flexibility, and low latency. As it avoids some of the additional processing and complexity of capturing data into existing protocol formats, such as USB and GIGI Vision, there are cost savings when looking at MIPI sensors as well. Trade-offs, with direct MIPI CSI2 connectivity, cable length is limited. However, the CERDES, GMSL, and FPD link protocols do offer potential ways around this. In addition, Low-level software configuration and driver development is likely required to ensure compatibility with your targeted sensor. Now I'm going to go a bit more into each of these interface options. As mentioned earlier, some of the main values with MIPI cameras are low latency, high data transfer rate, and direct access to the ISP. At a high level, MIPI works by sending raw image data over high-speed data lanes to be ingested by the carrier and processed by the GPU. MIPI sensors often work in two modes, four lane or two lane. At a high level, the difference is just as it sounds. It is the amount of high speed data pairs transporting that image data. Our diagram here is showcasing a four lane connection. And the main difference between two lane and four lane MIPI connections is the data rate. Four lanes allows for a higher data rate, so more sensor data can be pushed while maintaining your real time environment. An obstacle often introduced with this interface is the length of the connector cable. At most, vendors will supply a cable that is maximum 12 inches long. If your sensor needs to be more than a foot away from your edge processing device, MIPI cameras are not a feasible option. In addition, mechanical challenges can also be present. Each of these interfaces use different physical hardware connectors. A few examples are shown here. There is no standard MIPI hardware connector with the protocol each tend to be vendor specific. The Jetson Nano and NX dev kits do use the same 15 pin connector and some camera manufacturers have designed their sensors with this connector in mind. However, it does limit the protocol to two lane. Off the shelf hardware often involves use of an adapter board that allows connectivity of sensor cables to production hardware. 
which as you can imagine, become a challenge when moving to deployment and production. Now I'm going to go into a bit more detail around the GMSL and FPD link protocols. Initially adopted for the automotive sector, they have become quite popular with general edge applications due to increased flexibility, allowance for longer cable lengths, and reduction in cabling complexity. The first thing to understand about GMSL and FPD Link is that they are, in essence, a MIPI CSI connection. These protocols were developed by the third party company shown and introduced to overcome some of the main challenges we outlined previously with MIPI CSI2. Unlike MIPI cameras, the cable length can be significantly longer without sacrificing data rates. As you can imagine, for an autonomous vehicle application, the sensors need to be placed throughout the entire vehicle, making regular MIPI cable lengths unfeasible. Let's further explain the fundamentals of how this works. GMSL and FPD Link are camera serializer protocols. They take the multi-lane MIPI data and amalgamate that data to be sent over one stream. This results in a reduction of overall cable weight and complexity. Given the introduction of serializer, deserializer technologies in both cases, this does come at a slightly increased cost, but allows leveraging of direct processor access and bandwidth while still allowing simplified and increased cable lengths from image sensor to edge compute. While many camera vendors have not adopted a standard connector for these protocols, the vast majority of cameras utilize a variant of the FACRA connector adopted in the automotive sector. To further simplify cabling, customers can purchase cables that take four separate FACRA connectors and merge them into one quad connector. In this scenario, the camera streams all do stay independent, but it very much lessens the complexity of routing cameras and allows for a smaller form factor within your application. Now that we've gone over the hardware protocols, I'd like to also discuss the software challenges. What many companies fail to realize is once they're ready to move their application from a developer kit and deploy on production hardware, sensor software integration for MIPI, GMSL, and FPD link cameras will be required. In addition, any additional interfaces outside those on the development kit need proper mapping within the module's low level configuration. In many cases, companies are focusing their efforts on their AI inference, algorithm improvements, and system efficiency. It's in this focus that the need for additional assistance with the low-level driver and kernel-level modifications become apparent. A board support package, or BSP, connects discrete hardware peripherals to the application-level software executed on the NVIDIA Jetson. This is the bridge between your sensors and your application-level algorithms inference, and other models being processed by the GPU. Each camera and sensor vendor does things a little differently. Not only is there a physical difference in connector hardware, but the drivers and configurations for sensors are often vendor specific. There are thousands of camera sensors and models available. Drivers and configurations for these specific camera models need to be built within the BSP. Companies can develop the software themselves, or they can work with companies like Connect Tech to build custom BSP packages that automatically connect selected hardware and peripherals across the different Jetpack versions. In summary, leveraging and deploying with NVIDIA's production modules require a hardware strategy to be developed, as they come with no peripheral connectors, customized software packages, or in most cases, any thermal options. Customers can, of course, choose to design and build their own technology if they have the internal resources to do so, but it can add significant time to the development cycle. You can also choose to utilize off-the-shelf products developed by Jetson hardware experts to get to the market faster and minimize your deployment costs. The main drivers behind any move from development to production using either off-the-shelf or custom hardware are level of customization and time to market. There are three typical hardware strategies to choose from with this approach. The first one is off the shelf. This utilizes tested and validated off the shelf hardware with a preset configuration that meets or near meets your requirements. This allows for quickest time to market and is cost effective, but allows for limited customization. The next strategy is what we would call modification services. This is an approach where you take an available off the shelf product that is a close but not perfect fit. An example would be targeting one of Connect Tech's off the shelf products and adding an additional feature or redesigning end connectivity to match existing cable harnesses or system infrastructure. 
Making these small changes or feature additions to an off-the-shelf product is less expensive than a fully custom engagement, leveraging existing IP to reduce development time. In this case, since we're adjusting field-tested and verified hardware, our revision A success rate for these projects is almost 100%. That said, there is a limit to how much can be altered before you fundamentally change too much of the product to be considered a modified design. That is where you would move to the final strategy, a customized solution. Although the longest time to market and likely the highest upfront engineering expense, it results in a carrier or edge device fully customized to meet all requirements of your specification and end product. It comes ready to integrate or fully integrated with all the necessary peripherals and sensors ready to be deployed to your customers in the field. ConnectTech works closely with many markets and deploys a wide range of off-the-shelf solutions built to meet specific application requirements. Similar to the NVIDIA ecosystem of camera partners, there are verified hardware partners that develop off-the-shelf solutions for the Jetson marketplace, and ConnectTech is one of them. We are an elite NVIDIA partner and the largest Jetson hardware partner within the ecosystem. We offer a broad range of solutions, some examples of which are shown here. They are complete edge devices. These would be integrated and ready to deploy into the harshest environments. Development ready subsystems, preloaded with the configuration your application needs. Carrier boards designed to meet your IO and integration requirements. Adapter boards to allow flexibility and thermal solutions, all allowing companies to rapidly deploy production grade hardware to the field. When choosing among off the shelf hardware available, companies will need to look at their required IO feature set to try and find the right fit for their product and the ongoing support through deployment. This is where vision integration can pose some challenges and where ConnectTech is taking steps to overcome these challenges for our customers. In the next few days, we will be launching our vision solutions page. A preview of that page is shown here. This vision solutions page will further expand and improve access and accessibility to our wide range of camera ready platforms. This will allow customers to easily determine the vision solution that best meets their needs and confirm verified camera support across multiple camera partners. We work closely with our partners shown here, Allied Vision, Econ Systems, Framos, Basler, and others to ensure compatibility between our hardware and their camera solutions. This also means fully validated BSPs across a range of image sensors, including complete driver configuration for specific camera platforms. This ensures an out of the box, ready to develop environment with our technology. In addition, all ConnectTech hardware comes with a direct line to our Jetson experts, allowing engineer to engineer support to help you take the next step. If you need a sensor supported that currently doesn't exist in our verified sensors list, ConnectTech's engineering services can be utilized to do that work for you, saving time and allowing flexibility. Thank you for taking the time to listen today. If there are any questions or you need any more information, please email sales at connecttech.com.